Welcome to The Terrible Take, a mini-podcast telling Steelers Nation what's on our mind. I'm Dave Bryan. Let me start this Tuesday Terrible Take off by wishing all of Yens a very happy Ben is in the best shape of his career day. Yes, I know it feels like this annually celebrated day is a little early this year, but maybe that's due to the COVID pandemic dominating the football offseason last July. This year's annual celebration of Ben being in the best shape of his career comes via a Ryan Burr, who apparently is some sort of local media personality that I have never heard of prior to Tuesday morning. Per Burr, the Roethlisberger camp says the quarterback's biggest concern is weight loss and that he has been so driven since the 2020 season ended that his diet is now stricter than that of one Tom Brady. Burr went on to say that he expects Roethlisberger to have a better 2021 season than many people believe he will have and that his past issues are now in the past. So, what does all this mean and how much respect should Burr's reports that were delivered via several tweets get? I mean, I certainly can't refute the whole diet thing being stricter than that of Brady's. Burr's report aside, a lot of people forget that Roethlisberger said at the start of the team's 2019 training camp that he took his off-season conditioning more seriously and that the changes he made included ones to his diet. As we get older, all of us, including everyone out here, we need to get healthier, and I think we need to be healthier as a society. So, why not push for better health for everybody, Roethlisberger told the media on the first day of training camp in 2019. Roethlisberger also went on to say during that same interview that he was well aware of how him being lighter could help extend his career by several seasons. Knees, ankles, being lighter. Those are all positives when it comes to this age and playing football and a sport where you're pounding on your knees and you've had a couple of knee surgeries, Roethlisberger said. So anything you can do to lighten the load on your knees and ankles is good. Personally, I can't remember the last time that Roethlisberger showed up to a training camp and I immediately thought he was out of shape or overweight. Look, they call him Big Ben for a reason. He's a big dude. So, in short, I wouldn't read too much into Burr's Tuesday tweet report and that's not to mean that I think Roethlisberger isn't currently in great shape. Heck, just look at the pictures of him from this year's mandatory minicamp a few weeks ago. He looked great. Well, at least to me. Personally, I don't think Roethlisberger needs to be in any better shape in 2021 than he was in 2020. After all, the 2020 version of Roethlisberger led the team to an 11-0 start and on the heels of the quarterback missing most of the 2019 season due to an elbow injury. That said, one would think that Roethlisberger probably had more time to concentrate on his off-season conditioning this year than he did a year ago as he was busy rehabbing his surgically repaired elbow while dealing with the pandemic. Personally, I don't think Roethlisberger needs to be on a diet that rivals one that Tom Brady might be on. If he is, however, good for him. I expect Roethlisberger to show up for training camp looking pretty much like he usually does and that's ready for the start of another regular season. If, however, Roethlisberger is indeed in the best shape of his career when he reports for training camp a few weeks from now, good for him, as that would be great to see with 2021 potentially set to be the final year of his NFL career. Be sure to follow us at SteelersDepot.com and check out episodes of The Terrible Take every weekday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And check out The Terrible Podcast with myself and Alex Kazor every Tuesday and Friday.